All right, so um, let's start with uh, some introductory concepts uh, around the TS diagram. So, this is what it looks like. What do we have? This is the TS diagram for water. Okay, we have the y axis, temperature, and the x axis, we have entropy, and TS. Now we have a point up here. This point up here is the critical point. We denote it CP. And it's, it's an important point, because past this point, we don't have a distinction um, between different phases. The point connects two lines. This line is termed the saturated liquid line, while this line coming down here is the saturated vapor line. This means that if the properties of our fluid lie anywhere near this line, then our fluid will be, uh, the phase of our fluid will be saturated liquid. If on the other hand, the properties of our fluid happen to be on this line, then its phase would be saturated vapor. What about around and underneath the two lines. This, uh, by the way, is called the saturation dome. In between the lines, underneath the dome, we have the two-phase region. And by two-phase, we mean a mixture of liquid and vapor. This area here, we have the superheated vapor region. Well, here we have the subcooled liquid. Now, why is the saturation dome important? Well, you could have the properties of your fluid could essentially lie anywhere on, on this graph. If, they, if, if the properties happen to be right on this line, you only need one point of reference to uh, find all the other ones. And that's usually either the saturated pressure or the saturated temperature. Okay, so let's look at the two-phase region in a little bit more detail. Okay, let's say we have a point here, and that's point A. If I were to take a horizontal line, like this, I would say that this is at TA and PA, and although this is the, uh, the temperature axis, we can also denote, uh, denote pressures. Right across from A, I'm going to put point B. Point A lies on the saturated liquid line, while point B lies on the saturated vapor line. Okay? They're both at the same pressure. What's the main difference between them? I were to take, I'm going to take just the normal projection here from B all the way to the x-axis. Okay. So I'm going to call this XA and XB. All right? And by X, I will denote the steam fraction. And you get a, uh, an equation to actually calculate this. Right? It's in your notes. Now, uh, looking at this, we have the saturated liquid line here. Okay? So the steam fraction for A, point A, its phase is saturated liquid, which means um, what is a saturated liquid? It's a liquid that has enough energy into it, has been brought to, uh, uh, to the state where uh, if we add any more energy to it, bubbles, steam will start to form, right? We will come inside the two-phase realm. Saturated, saturated vapor, on the other hand, um, is a state where we have vapor and we've extracted enough energy from it that it is 
just in it's in the, it's in the state where it's just um, where liquid particles are just about to form. So if we were to take any uh, amount of energy from it, then it too will enter the uh, the two phase region. So thinking about that, we have x here, x a will actually be equal to zero. Why? Well, if we have saturated liquid by 100%, then we will have saturated vapor by 0%. Okay? Xb, on the other hand, would be equal to 1. What does that mean? So this is 0, and this is 1. Xb equals 1. It's going to be up here. It's on the vapor, um, saturated vapor line means that its content in terms of saturated liquid would be equal to 0%, and its content in terms of saturated vapor will be equal to 100%. Now let me ask the audience, what if I were to pay, take point C here? Right, I'm going to take normal line, so let's just say that this is at T, C, P, C. Oh, and by the way, this will actually be T, if I were to name that point D, T, D, P, D. And this is equal to T, B, P, B. Because they're the same. If I were to take this, X, D, and that, X, C, X, C, X, D. And I'm going to ask my audience here, what do you think the value of X, D is? Would it be negative because it's to the left of zero? Negative. X, D equal zero. Okay, so negative to the question, not negative to the value. Exactly. So, all right. Uh, so Anton thinks that xc, well, xd, right, xd would be equal to zero, meaning that we will have what, 100% uh, saturated liquid. Well, Anton's right. Would xc be greater than one? No. No, it would be one, right? Why? because it's lying also on the saturated vapor line. So x equals one, meaning we have 100% saturated vapor. All right, so let me, uh, let me pose a theoretical question. What if I had point E and I took it right in there? Mm -hmm. Now, you see, I take the line from A, right? And x A equals zero. Well, what about x e? Would it be equal to zero? No. Although it happens to be on the same point, so I would actually note it here, it is not equal to zero, right? Um, in order to find e, and uh, you will essentially do this when, when you go through your calculation, you have to figure out what the ratio between this distance and this distance is. Right? So this is, we have this, and that, over the entire thing, of course. So if I were to uh, come up with a general equation to calculate this, and uh, I, will denote, I will denote line segments um, to do that, I will say that x e is equal to, um, DE and over DC. Anton has a question. Yes, Anton. I have a comment. Yes, please. Uh, so initially you said that... Because that's a percentage, right? Yeah, initially you said that XE uh, we can define as a ratio between these two 
life. Yeah, I mean, I, I can also say that it's 1 minus EC over DC. Yeah. Okay? This is clear for me, thank you. All right. All right. Good. Excellent. Um, dum -dum -dum. Oh, yes. So, let's uh, put this in relation to the steam tables. So, um, I'm going to make some space. I'm going to take this away.